Hello everybody and welcome back to RimWorld where all our colonists are in reasonable health at the moment. I don't know how long that's going to last. Look, six people with no injuries. Let's make sure everyone's on herbal medicine. That would be good. I, was gonna, I could just saw out of the corner of my eye that the medicines weren't quite right there. But we do have one prisoner who has a slight health concern there, so uh, we need to just keep an eye on the medical treatments. Um, keep that open, and if it should, goes to untreated, then that will be a problem. But in the meantime, we'll just let them get on with it. Do all the tasks that they're meant to be doing. Oh, no. Heatwave. Now, in here, we've got... 13 degrees indoors the target temperature of there is 21 degrees so at the moment their bedrooms are in a place where they're going to be cool um, but the bedrooms over here might cause a little bit of an issue so our prisoner and our our new colonist might have a little trouble now there is a cooler up here so I might move people see how it goes. At the moment it's not too bad. I hate heat waves, I really do. Well, we just need to watch out for people with heat stroke. Generally if they're sleeping in a nice cool place then it's not so bad for them. Still 17 degrees inside, it's 35 outside. So they're right next to the freezer as well. A junk of spacecraft has fallen from space and landed nearby. Yeah, right in our base again. Fantastic. Deconstruct on that. Need materials. Oh. Ran out of wood. Okay, let's see if we can cut anything down inside the base. That tree's too little. I am gonna maybe start a little grove, uh, maybe across up here. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because we we are running out of trees all the time, and I don't really want to have to send people out. Why did it beep then? I don't know why it beeped. It's like nearly 50 degrees outside. But we're still hitting 21. Oh, oh gut worms? No! It's with Fedden and Catalina. No! Poor Catalina. Right, um, I think, is that going to be one of these things that we just have to treat every so often, or...? Hunger times two. We have plenty of food, so that's not so bad. So if I just um, set that as a quick medical bed, and I tell Catalina to rest, and then I'll get X310 to give her a treatment, and then I'll do the same for um, Fedden. I think Fedden might already be... Oh, Marrow's having a chat. Okay. Oh, we've built the coolers. That was just in time. That was brilliant timing. So now these rooms will be nice and cool. That's that's fantastic. These are starting to... How's the tree growing there? Get rid of that tree. Okay, so Catalina has treated gut worms now. So I think with gut worms, I did read a little bit about them because I was a bit like, what's going to happen in the jungle? What sort of things am I going to have? So gut worms, um, I believe, are a new thing for Alpha 13. I think I saw someone on the forums sort of moaning that they weren't too happy about them. But I think the idea of them is that you eat double the amount until you've had a certain amount of treatment. So it sort of behooves us, although it doesn't seem like it really hurts anyone too much. I mean, it's a weakened consciousness. 
by 4%, so that's not too bad. And they, there's a bit of pain there, so they're going to be maybe a bit, a bit unhappy with having it. But I don't think it's going to cause them to necessarily keel over and die. Uh, but they're just going to be really hungry, so it's best to treat them as many times as possible until the gut worms go away. That is what I believe is right. Um, if anyone knows any different about gut worms, please uh, tell me in the comments. But that was the uh, the idea I got of it anyway. All my batteries have been built now, so that's good. They're all charging up nicely. We'll need them in the days to come. Fall has begun. Or maybe the heat wave will go away. <laughs> then again, in the jungle, it's always heat wave season. Catalina, where are you? Sleeping on the floor. Well, that's going to really help, isn't it? Um... Bed. It needs to be set as non-medical and it needs to be set as Kathleen's bed and then Kathleen needs to be told to go and sleep in it. Right, what is wrong with Fedden? Is that the gut worms? Extreme infection? Really? Oh yeah, that's alright. We just need to make sure that the treatments are given when they're supposed to be. He's a very sick man. We'll just slow time down a bit because he's just about to, to need his uh, treatment. Just check that. I like to be quite precise with these treatments, it can make a big difference. I've had people die just because I've not been looking at them when they've needed treatments. I'm going to need a little stockpile over here that's going to have like the, the herbs and things in. I really hope we've got like quite a few healing herbs, I don't know how many we've actually got. Two, that's not many. Oh, I've got a few over here, yeah, six, three another two okay do we getting someone to haul those in honestly um marrow are you doing anything haul them because they go off maybe rush could haul some more no kieran could you no in fact that might just be because of the work restrictions oh no they just can't haul okay Treat quality 75%, so we did a reasonable job there. Let's have a look at the health there. 84%, we can turn the speed up a bit now. Because he's either going to survive or he's not. There's only so much treating we can do. I was all like, yeah, we need to keep an eye on this guy, and then I, I just didn't keep an eye on him at all, so I'm really glad that that severe illness thing came up. Because that would have been a, a real shame, because if we can get him back to health, we can join the colony. Oh, did he die? Oh, no. I suppose that means I don't have to deal with the gut worms, but that is frustrating. Especially when you waste medicine on someone and they just die. It's like, I didn't want you, that to happen. I wanted you to be okay. Right, well, do we have a grave? Catalina, what's wrong with you? Poor mood. Because you're hot and you didn't have much sleep and stuff. Eight without a table, feeling bad, sick, stuck on the ground. Okay, well there's only a certain amount I can do about that, I'm afraid, Catalina. You're gonna if you go to sleep, then you'll be in a bed and Oh no, she seems a bit better now. I'm smoothing out the floor in there, that's good. Uh, I would like them to mine out this area. No one seems to really want to be mining at the moment. I think Kathleen will feel better. She's just a bit poorly at the moment. I really need 
his bedroom's done. I need this stone table done as well. Why is no one doing what I tell them to do? <laughs> okay, let's get Maro, um, who is sleeping. No, they're sewing it. All oh, right, they're doing food. Okay. Why don't you prioritize cutting a tree down? And then we can get someone else to prioritize maybe a couple of trees, actually. Then we'll have the materials to finish this off. So uh, someone who's not Catalina. Need materials. How many materials do you need for that then? Steel and wood. 75 wood. We know about that. There's an eclipse, there's visitors and there's visitors. Okay. Here, when can you haul? No. Bury. Bury that one as well. That's not going to be helping moods in the general vicinity of my base. Yeah, that's right. Get them in the graves. Um, I would like some more graves dug. I like to have more graves than I need. Has anyone buried him? No. He was so close to being immune as well. Could have chopped the leg and he would have probably saved him, but... Ooh, research is finished. Very nice. Now, smithing and machining. Machining is guns. Yeah, let's have guns. Let's have really good guns. Trader. Cool. Go speak to the trader, please. Let's we'll see what he's got to offer. Gold. A mega screen telly. Oh, shame you don't have enough money. I would have bought you a television. Deliver a power claw. Wow. Cool. Why would anyone want a psychic animal pulser? Glitter world, medicine, components, a couple of elephants, superior cloth and duster. Um, and they won't buy any of my stuff really. No, that's pretty useless. Waste of Marrow's time. The eclipse is ending. Oh, good stuff. Oh, we've got some steel now. That's good times. I love that they have elephants with them. I love that they actually bring the animals with them that they have to trade in their trading thing. Oh. oh I wish... I need another bed, really. I need another bed just to be made so that I've got a spare bed for medical stuff. And I really need things to be made of something that's not... It's not wood all the time, because I'm getting fed up of cutting wood. And that reminds me I was going to make a grove. Actually, having a grove there might actually give cover when I'm trying to fight bandits and things. The growing Flow 7 will be for... Maybe oak trees? No, pine trees. Pine in real life grows faster, so we'll see. The base is now nice and clean, so I don't know why people are all getting infections. That's still very annoying. I would like to eventually replace all of the wooden walls with stone walls. Aha! Stonecutter's table is done, so make stone blocks. Do, like, forever. No, do until you have. Oh, 
like a hundred or something. That'll do. Okay, right, Ooh. Catalina, that can be your bed. Got a nice light in there and everything. And then the medical bed can be this one permanently. And now, did you get treated for your gut worms? Yes, you did. Good. Family. There are members of your colonists or prisoners. Sorry, there are family members of your colonists or prisoners in the arriving group. And so, for Taurus's daughter is Town Trader Johnson. That's pretty good. Just let them get on with their stuff for a bit. Now, once we get some stone coming through, what are they making? Marble? Marble bricks? Yeah. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to make this whole area into like a stockpile. And I'm just going to allow things like stone to go there. I'm going to make it a high, higher priority, a preferred priority. And it's going to be allowed nothing but stone blocks. And that way, the Taurus won't have to like run around with them too much. She, she can just do her thing. Ah, they're slate blocks, okay, uh, that's fine. I thought she was making marble blocks, but if we've got slate blocks we can make... Uh... So it is all slate and marble there. So we can say... Flooring. Slate tile floor. All the way through there, please. And probably also in that one. And then we'll have like marble in this one. That makes a nice workroom feel, I think. The electric stove is broken down. Oh no. I think it's working now. I think someone immediately fixed that. And we do have components and things around the place. Good, the batteries are all filling up, which is fantastic. It always makes me happy when that happens. Uh, we're going to make some more new beds as well. We can start making the beds now out of... Um, wow, we can start making them out of stone. And we can also start making the walls out of stone as well. Is it limestone and slate that we've got? There was a marble and slate. There's, there's a lot of marble. I wonder if I can restrict the stone cutter to making things more out of uh, details, right? So what I can say is I would like you just to, to make marble for now. And I'm hoping that that will work. Um, now I want to just make sure that that's happening. So, oh look, my pine trees are growing. Cool. The Taurus seems to be the one mostly doing that. So, um, weapons and tools, crafting, stone cutting, smelting, etc. It's quite low down. I could put that to a one. I might change that later. Okay, I think that's been sorted. Those have come and gone. How's your gut worms doing, Catalina? A few hours before you need to be treated for that. I think it does tell you when they're due to be treated. Now then, let's get some flooring in. I want marble all the way down here. Okay, 
They are getting there. There's a lot of flooring to do. It's not my favourite flooring. I probably will change it at some point. But at least it makes it look like the inside rather than the outside. Now I am going to have to unfortunately run a bit of an unsightly cable. Um, probably the best thing to do would be just to run it from the solar panels up to the walls so then it can run through the walls so I think that's going to be the best thing to do just right up there nice and clean and then we'll just run it right the way along here and that way we can put lights and things in their work rooms which is probably even more important than putting it in their bedrooms to be quite honest Just do that, that'd be nice. Nice and bright in there for them. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, Catalina now needs a treatment for her gutworm stuff. That's something I like to do manually. Um, and I would also like to make a bigger field of healing herbs. We are running out of them. Because we're having to use them all the time. And I like the fact that it's now called Heal Root, because it was called something like beginning with an X before, which wasn't very obvious. So it's quite nice this for new players especially that they don't have to know. It was Zerygium, I think it was called. It's nice that they don't have to know what that is. All the stuff hauled from the bedrooms. That's going to be a bedroom soon too as well, so we'll get all the junk out of there. Um, and we definitely need a wall there. It's going to be a marble block wall. Who's starving? Good stuff. They're all eating. So, um, the Taurus used to do a lot of making meals. I don't know why that stopped. Probably because pigs are eating all of our potatoes. That's not good times. No, not a melee person. It needs to be someone with a gun. Thank you. Don't you dare ever eat my stuff again. Um, can you haul? Yep, yeah, take it to the fridge. Take it to the fridge. Or not. We need to do a bit of reprioritizing there. I think we need animal corpses to not be put there. And they need to be put here. Put it in the freezer, thank you very much. Is the freezer still freezing? Yep, good. Heatwave seems to go past without any particular problems. Once these uh, rooms are a little bit nicer, then hopefully people will stop dying all the time in them. Um, and I'll maybe make a couple of medical rooms and things like that. Although the space here isn't very good. I might need to twist the corridor around and make rooms along the back there, but they can't be too big because they'll end up just a bit too close to the edge. I don't want that. 
Rush and Maru are lovers. So come on, anyone wants to be Maru's lover, Rush is still available for a name. <laughs> oh, and we have completely, look, look at this, how nice is that? I do need uh, more power conduits going up there though. Probably will need them going up there too. Yes, we've got this lovely little research room going on there now. That's very, very cool. Um, I do think that we need tiles under the doors, though. That's an easy bit to miss, under the doors. Yeah, but anyway, new lovers. So there might be a wedding on the horizon. We might need to buy a new hat or something like that. Um, yeah, so end of the episode with new lovers positive note <laughs> what's gonna go wrong in the next episode i don't know who's gonna die i don't know <laughs> so if you liked the episode then please leave me a like in the comment section below and if you would like to follow the series subscribe as always um i hope to see you in the next episode but until then please look after yourselves and keep being awesome